Good morning resellers and lovers of the great British boot sale. I'm Dave Keith, this is ABL Reselling and this morning we're off over to the Fylde Coast. Now don't let my cheerful demeanour fool you this morning. <laughs> I'm actually knackered and I've had to dig really, really deeply to get myself out of the house this morning because, well, for two reasons really. Firstly, I've got a, still got a mountain of stock to go through but the best time to source stock is when you've already got a lot to go up. But the second reason reason I've had to dig deep this morning is because I know that I'm going to a party this evening and I want to be fresh as a daisy so nap time is going to be extremely pertinent today and you guys know how much I love nap time but I've actually got three boot sales to go up I'm going to go to my favorite first well my favorite Saturday one anyway which is over at Norcross possibly followed by Green Elsh and maybe even St Michael's I'm just going to play it by ear to be honest let's get over there the forecast is awesome today so it's looking good oh it's looking good let's get on the road <laughs> Oh no, I've got a flat tire on my trolley. Oh, it might be time for a new one, you know. It's been a good faithful chariot gutted. Oh well. It's a bit windy today over in Nor Norcross and a lot overcast. I'm going to stick by my original statement though. It's going to be a good day. Morning. How are you today? I'm good, are you? <laughs> it's a bit blowy, isn't it? It is actually. <laughs> I'm trying to stay it up. How much are your trainers? They're all different prices. Just uh, so the Under Armour uh, and Sketches. Uh, right, it's okay. We'll take eight and eight. Yeah. And those ones? Twelve. They're yeah, brand new. Yeah, just yeah. Them. I'll give the bag. And about the Clarks. Twelve. Ones. Ten. Did you do 30 for the four pairs? So 12, 8, 20. Uh, four, which ones? Uh, these no, three and no, those. No. What's your best price? Uh, so it's 12 and 8, it's 20, 8, 28, 10, 38, 35. 35, yeah, I'll do 35. Oh, and how much are those ones? A 10. Forecast is good for today anyway, so... I hope so, it won't rain, so I'm that's the, the main thing. I'm the eternal optimist, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I know, yeah, it's quiet, yeah, oh, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, because usually you're in the queue for a few minutes and you're off the go. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How much are these ones? Ten. Sorry, I, I, I thought you should have oh, yeah, those ones. <laughs> Will you do eight for them? Thank you. Probably not stop spending yet anyway, <laughs> to be fair. That's oh, great, that. Hope thank it warms you. up for you anyway. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good day. Thank you. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Good morning, pal. How are you doing? Today, so all this crap. How much you got on those? Eight quid. How about those ones? Eight. Eight quid again, mate. You both for ten? Uh uh. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta ask, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> What's your best price on them? Yeah? What's your best price on them? Eight quid. Both. Sixteen quid. Yeah. It's a shoe day today. <laughs> Cheers, man. Pounds. Cheers, pal. One of these and another one of these. Look at this. Nice on those. Best price is five on those. Any good to you? Yeah, good Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Like 
still see you. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you do 40 for the four? Thank you, mate. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Have a good day. I hope this wind dies down for you. <laughs> How much have you got on the McQueen's? Five, yeah, five. You could do three for repeat business. Yeah, <laughs> nice and cheers. Cheers, <laughs> right, cheers buddy, thanks. How much you got on those, bud? Chasing things around the field all day, aren't you? That's great, cheers. Thank you so much. Have you got on these two? Ten and um, ten, but I could do eight for each pair. Yeah. Fifteen for both? Cheers, man. Thank you. Do you know what? I'm sure I bought one of these the other day. Do you want to buy another one? It's funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> they always look better in pairs, don't they? How much yeah, have you got yeah, in it? Fiber. Yeah, just a fiver. See, price of it on bottom. Yeah. I could do three. Got four. Yeah. Oh, you're having a good spend already. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought I'd be, it was a slow start. And then I just found one seller and it yeah, just takes off kind of thing. Went. That's it. <laughs> yeah, broke me duck. <laughs> Smashing that. Thank you. Okay. I think you're going to be spending a day chasing. Down. Yeah. yeah, we've already been doing that. Yeah. <laughs> we should well. bring all your heavy stuff today, innit? <laughs> Thanks, Have a good one. Five all day, is that? Oh, sorry, and, uh, and the other one? I thought this was a box for it. Yeah, that's a ten of that. That, uh, It's a few little plastic nuts broke off there. All oh, right. You need a new visor, that's what they call a visor. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. That's fine, that. It's not that hard to swap a visor out. We do 13 for the pair, boss. <laughs> Just hold on to something. <laughs> I've never done this before, you see. So. <laughs> You'll be fine. We do 13 for the pair. <coughs> nice one. Thank you, sir. Well, that is a first. <laughs> Into the Norcross boot sale and back out again with a full trolley, technically 20 minutes after it opened. I've been in there a little bit longer. It was worth paying the five pound to get in early doors today. Obviously you pay your money to you take your chance, but it's only 20 past seven now and there's two more boot sales locally to go to. I feel like the world's my oyster. Got some really good pickups from Norcross anyway. So where to go to next? I'm feeling, where am I feeling? I'm feeling green horse actually. Let's see where the wind blows us. I think this is the earliest I've ever got to this boot sale. Let's get into it. And the hassle of cleaning that. That acoustic solution DAB radio was a nice bit of kit probably looking at 20 to 25 pound resale it had an eight pound sticker on it but the bottom was very very tacky sometimes uh, rubber coated on stuff like that goes tacky and it's a nightmare well you never really get it properly clean 
but even doing a half a de half decent job, it just it's, it's really hard work, and I don't want the hard work to be honest. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Good to see you, legend. <laughs> Not seen you for about three or four years now, have you? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, your van wasn't as posh last time, I think. No, I don't think it was. I had some vinyls put on it just to How much are they, these? Three. How much are they? £23. £23. Yeah. Three specific, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, boss? Magic, pal. Magic. Wooden then. Are they? Item. There you go. Yeah. How much is your tonka? <laughs> yeah. Would you go a fiver? I'll go six. Fair enough. <laughs> You'd be chasing it around the field, wouldn't you? <laughs> no grumbling there, no grumbling there at all. Thanks for coming. Mate. Cheers, bud. How much is that, bud? Is it? There's a strap inside as well. Yeah. I'll do that for a fiver actually. That one tobacco gold balls as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm alright. Thanks, Thanks lovely. So. Cheers. As soon as you guys have just been looking probably at the inside of my jacket for the last couple of minutes, I just bought a golf bag. <laughs> so I've just bought a golf club bag, should I say? Then I'll say to my lad, see, That's told it. you I can tell you where I was. <laughs> <laughs> he went, No, you don't see people off YouTube on the car boat. I said, I'm telling you I do. Oh, do you know what? There's a, there's a guy who's got a stand on here. It, the, his channel is a walk on the wild that side. Walk <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. <laughs> That's a nice little piece there. That might be up your street. That's something Staffordshire. Yeah. What have you on that? Two quid. Go on. Hey? It'd be criminal to spend some money with you, wouldn't it? I'm not smaller, sorry. Yeah, so I'm running about two weeks behind. Right. Uh, so today will be. Uh, a week on Saturday. A week video on Saturday. What's your name? What's your name? George. 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 Good to meet you, George. What's your name, Flower? Bev. Bev. Nice to meet you, Beverly. But on a good day, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a brave man. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Okay, today is just turning out to be probably the most bizarre boot sailing day I've had ever. <laughs> well, I've been reselling. Nice life sale. I'm going to edit that bit out. It's looking like I'm going home with more money than I set out with. I'll explain. Now this happened off camera, so apologies for that. Now you guys may well have been following this channel for a while, so you'll have seen a few videos back from a charity warehouse I go to once a month. I picked up, I think it was 10 to 12 kilos of costume jewelry. Went through it and I pulled out some silver and what I thought was potentially some gold. Uh, it wasn't hallmarked, but I just had an inkling about it. Now I've had it in a bag ready to take to a boot sale over in Yorkshire to a guy who deals in gold because I didn't have a testing kit and to be honest with you, don't really know a lot about it. I know how to find out about hallmarks and stuff like that, but that's to some extent if I'm honest. So I thought I'll take it over, let him have a route through, do a deal. But I keep forgetting to take it with me. So I stuck it in my pocket today to come over on the off chance that there was a similar kind of trade at one of the book sales that I've gone to that, that, that deals in, in gold and silver. There wasn't anybody 
with a stand on the sides but i spotted a guy that i've seen a few times now at different boot sales uh, he's one of these chaps that goes door to stall asking people if they've got any gold that and this that and the other anyway tapped him on the shoulder explained the situation how i've come across uh, come come by this what i thought was gold now it was either it was or it wasn't so if it wasn't I would have taken it home anyway or if he said it wasn't i would have taken it home especially if he'd then offered to buy it anyway i wasn't gonna have the wool pulled like that anyway there was two or three items that i had a strong suspicion were gold a couple of potential sovereigns one set in a necklace one set in a ring cut a long story short i ended up selling him all the gold pieces for 150 pound cash he wasn't interested in the silver that was in the bag so shook hands made a good contact there as well because obviously i may have a similar scenario in the future so a good local contact but i didn't know at the time while i was stood talking to the guy i basically just put the bits in a tonka that i bought to let him have a look and have a route through somebody else was walking past and about 10 minutes later a guy tapped me on the shoulder and he said i saw you doing that deal with that guy have you still got the silver bits that he wasn't interested in i went yeah yeah and i came to a deal with him for the rest of it for 25 quid so i've actually made 175 pound in cash sales while I've been out boot sailing. How weird is that? <laughs> I suppose it's not weird in the respect of that's kind of what was in the back of my mind to do anyway, but it was just weird that it was from other resellers essentially just getting chatting to folk. Bizarre. And it's only just nine o'clock, so I've got a decision to make now. I've done quite well today. The boot of this rather sexy hire car is full. So do I go home for a nap and prepare for the party tonight or do I go to St. Michael's? Decisions, decisions. Do you know what? I think I'll go to St. Michael's, you know. I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't take you along. Let's get over there. They're tidy. Yeah, yeah. It's by accident as well. They are, they're easy sells. Doing the right thing, mate. Posting that stuff because people get to know you. I see, yeah. You. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, it doesn't, it, it doesn't pay very much. What well, it pays for the fuel to get to boot sales on that the, yeah, the, yeah, the YouTube, yeah. but the the opportunities that have arisen because of it. Yeah. It's not that you're building your knowledge base up as well. That yeah. Took me a long time to get mine. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, st I enjoy making the cock up so and learning by them though. That's well, the I thing. I made a major cock up here last last year. Yeah. I sold an handbag. On here, yeah? On here. Bank holiday. Bank holiday. Yeah. She comes back and says, where's that handbag? And I thought I did well. Yeah. So I got eight quid for it. I was, I was fucking pleased with it. <laughs> she said it's got the takings in it. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh, I bet you, oh. Not did only, he, was, were you on a settee? That. You were on a settee that night, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> if I knew that was going to happen, I'd have done it a lot sooner. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> How much have we got on these? Um, excuse me, I'm on the floor. Uh, fiver? Yeah. yeah. Sound. Have we got any laces in tight? Might even be laces in them. Oh, brilliant. If not, oh, hang on, there's something in there. There's something in there. A bit of packaging. There is, yeah. 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 I don't know why I expected them to be white, but there you go. Places with them. I mean, to be honest, I'd have paid a fiver without them. Yeah, it's Is this you as well? Yeah. What have you got on the Hornsey? 30 on the lot. I don't even want to break it. Because I've sold on the tea jugs just recently. Go on, I'll, I'll do Sideways. those. I'll do those. Yeah. Yeah looking after you. Absolutely. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Have a good day, man. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Cheers. See you later, buddy. How you doing, boss? What you got in your boots? They're all different, depending on the wear, you see. Yeah. I mean, they're all close. The tops are all right. Um, that'd be 20 quid. Yeah. Um, that one you get corkers like these because they've been rebuilt. Yeah. Um, that'd be 30 quid. There's loads of life in them. Yeah. Um, yeah, 30 quid. For those. They're 180 pound boots when you want to buy them. Yeah. Sure. 
there's loads of life in them, believe it or not. Because they, when you have them done, you can get them rebuilt for about forty quid. They yeah. put it all new up to there, you see. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. I don't want to put the effort in though. That's, right. that's the only thing. Okay. But that's how they come back, right? And it's all re -built. Nice that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Tidy. And they can do that three times, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You buy a pair of boots. Like do you have to send them off special, do you, or just yeah. get them done local? No. Uh, you have to send them off to a Vibram repair sport shop. One local one round is in Burnley. Yeah. You can do it over the web, like send it to them, they fix it and send it back to you. How much are those? <coughs> uh, 30 quid. They're the big lower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So They're lovely boots. 70 and then both of them for 50 and that's a deal. I could do the three pairs but I need to get as close to 50 as humanly possible. Three pairs. Cheers, boss. Okay. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. And how much are on those? Uh, if they're on their own, it'd be 40 quid because you can see condition of them. Yeah. yeah. If you link them up with a few, we'll do a deal. Yeah. That's probably what I'd be selling those at, to be honest. Yeah. Sure. yeah. The smaller size, though, isn't they? And what's on those? Uh, 25. The 20? Yeah, 25. Yeah. There's another pair there as well. No, I think I'm, I didn't expect it. This is a, like a, a bonus run around the boot sale. I didn't expect oh, to pick up right. anything. Yeah. I ended up picking up a load of stuff. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I've got room in the car. Obviously, that's the only thing. Have a good day, my friend. Cheers. Are you here every week? Are you? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'll come back and give you some more money. Yeah. Cheers. I'm going to show you your lamp, pal. Do that. Can I leave you with can I leave you in the ball? Come in handy. <laughs> I'll not ask for a discount. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Cheers pal, thank you. How much have you got in your helmet? 110. How much you got on these? Uh, £4. Pound. They just want clean in the fan though. Yeah, yeah. And how about the uh, tempos? How about the tempos? Uh, you can have them for three. Would you do seven including those? Yeah. Yeah. Next one. Thank you. I need a bigger trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. Right. Have a good day. Thank you. Now I wish this was on the stand for sale. Not on commando. Lovely, lovely, lovely vintage motorcycle. Well, that is a turn off of the books. I did not expect to do as well from St. Michael's and Billsborough as I have done. Full trolley, a full heavy trolley as well with that uh, big jaws of that jaws stand thing. <laughs> Made some purchases from some subscribers as well, which is always nice. Bit of reseller support. Now I'm very tempted to wait and see if I do do a boot sale tomorrow morning before I put all this video together. But then again, saying that, I don't want the video to be about 300 years long. <laughs> but what I will do to film the sum up that I normally do, I'll wait until tomorrow and wait until the hangover clears. But of course, I'll let you know what I picked up from the three boot sales today. I'll go into a little bit more information about the bizarre goings on all day, really. And obviously let you know what I picked up and tell you how much it's getting listed for. I'll see you tomorrow.
what a weekend <laughs> i did end up going to the party last night so consequently i didn't get out to the boot sales this morning and i did actually feel quite a large dose of fomo because it was absolutely scorching but still no complaints because yesterday absolutely killed it total spend yesterday was 302 pound and for that i picked up 41 items again a good mix so let's strap the gopro to my head and take you through what i got and what a lovely lot we have today. <laughs> I think it's, I haven't picked up this many items on a single day for a long time. Right, let's get straight into it because I'll try and get a better pace to this lot as well because, I mean, obviously there's a lot to get through. First up, bit of a strange story with this item here, actually. It's Super Jaws. It actually looks brand spanking new. The picture on the front, I'm not gonna take it out because it weighs a bloody ton. The picture on the front kind of gives away the story a bit. It's a, a portable workbench for want of a better word. Uh, so the clamp comes down and holds the thing in place and you can put your foot on that for, I suppose, joiners or use it or something like that. The, the reason it's a strange story is I was actually bidding on one of these at auction last week and I lost out because the price got to a stage where there was not enough margin in it for it to be worth me my while picking it up. So it was just really coincidental that at the boot sale today, I. Uh, bumped into one and did a deal with a seller. I think £25 I paid for that in the end and that will be getting listed for £80. Now that's a pretty safe bet as well because there are comps of this at that money in worse condition. So uh, not only is this in spanking condition in its original box, I think the instructions are in there as well, and also it's got the sleeve so I don't have to find another box to put it in. So £80 listing value on that. Next one, I was a bit in two minds about picking up this lid. It's an AGV AirTech in large. So bang on the money as far as size are concerned. The reason I was in two minds is the visor is damaged, so it won't fit back in place. So I'm going to have to get a replacement visor for it. Aside from that and the internals needing a wash, it's in really good condition. A visor is going to cost about 25 quid for this lid. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get a visor for it right rather than sell it as it is and list it as needing a new visor kind of thing because it makes a significant difference in the price. But as it stands, I'm really unsure where I'm going to price it at. At the high end of comps, this helmet will sell for £110. At the low end, probably 50 to 60. So for the purposes of the video, I'm going to put a range on it of between 50 and £100. Oh, and incidentally, the reason that I was always going to take the, the gamble on that anyway is because it only costs £3. Next, a newer AGV helmet. AGV is a great brand. And aside from a little bit of storage scratching, completely undamaged, really good condition. There is a scratch on the visor, but on the whole, it's in not too bad a condition. Internals looking good. In its original box, which is a slight selling point, the model on this one is the AGV K3. There's quite a few different styles on this, and usually the more outlandish the, the graphics are on them, the higher the sale price. But this one's still not a bad return, because I got it with the other one, and the listing value on this one, £80. Now this Tonka, I think I picked it up more for nostalgia purposes than anything else because I've sold loads of them over the years and uh, I don't mind running a bit of a wet wipe over them to clean them up. If there's excessive rust on them, then I'll leave them be. But if there's a bit of rust, people are very forgiving because they know what they're buying. They know it's a vintage item. Uh, they know it's going to have seen a lot of wear kind of thing. You can still get these new, not necessarily the 354, but this exact sort of like style, if you will. You can get them brand new. And brand new, they sell for 30 to 35 pound. But there's a bit of mileage in the vintage element as well. So the listing value on this is 20 pound. Probably the best boots I've picked up today of a number of pairs. I think we're we on about four or five pairs. These are lower combat boots. I think the lower are issued to uh, the police service if I'm not much mistaken. Exceptionally good quality boot though. Vibram soles that have not seen much action at all. Good condition overall. Size eight as well. And the listing value on those 70 pound. The first of three pairs of Altbergs used again good condition soles these are a size 11 bit of scuff into the toe but not no more than you might expect from uh, some used boots listing value on those 50 pound and slightly worse condition and a size 7 again altberg boots altberg defenders listing value on those 40 pound this is the first time i've ever picked up a golf bag normally i'd avoid them like the plague because i've never found any when i've been checking comps in the past that hold decent value or certainly not any that's worth the effort of packaging up something awkward and 
relatively heavy. But this Mizuno bag, the Mizuno is what stood out because obviously I don't know much about golf. I don't play golf or have any interest in it. But I do know that Mizuno is uh, a popular brand in the golfing world. It is a vintage bag, not staggering uh, margin in this considering what it's going to cost to post it and whatnot. And really, the space is going to take up until it sells as well. So I think I paid £5 for it and that's getting listed for £40. As a bit of a Brucey bonus, it's got its strap with it and in one of the pockets there's a load of tees and like a ball cleaning brush and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but also there was this US Laundry lightweight jacket. Now it's not a huge brand US Laundry but it's a nice good quality feel jacket. The listing value on that one is going to be a £10. So that was a sort of like a been able to stretch out the return on the golf bag. This really lovely brushed bronze lamp stood out to me because I picked up another one just recently that's very similar. I don't think they're the same though. I haven't actually checked at this point if they're, they're the same. If they are, I'm going to take the other one off sale and list them as a pair because lamps always sell better. Table lamps particularly always sell better in pairs than on their own. But for the purposes of the video and because this is one of the items that I picked up today, I'm going to put a listing value of £25 on it on its own. Some more scales now. This is probably a lesser known brand than I'm, I'm picking up of late. This is Waylux The Queen. I think The Queen is the model and Waylux is the brand. Some unusual and good quality feeling weights for it as well. It does need a bit of a clean up but there's no damage or chips or anything like that. I've been getting good returns on scales lately more so than I have historically. So the listing value on this particular set I'm going to put £25. Another lamp now I want a, a, probably a more Shine a light. A prob probably a more typical style pickup to me. This is a, a brass, good, solid feeling vintage lamp. There's no markings on it to denote where it's made or anything like that, but it, it certainly feels properly vintage and not sort of like a mass produced piece of crap basically. But because it's on its own, like I say, ideally it would have been a pair. And because it's a more unusual shape, the, the column lamps tend to sell better. The listing value I'm gonna put on this is 20 pound. Now I'm being true to typing, I'll only pick up new Lego sets these days. I won't touch loose Lego because it just does my head in. I'm not taking away from anybody who does, that's fair play. But going through it and sorting through it just does my nut in, so I don't leave, I don't touch older Lego now. Perhaps Duplo, but that's about it. Two sets of each of these. The first one is 41393. That's a model that's a Lego Friends. Brand new and sealed, like I say. And listing value on those is £25 each. And the other one, the Lego set is 60267. Like a safari truck. And the listing value I'm going to put on those is £20 each. Now, in hindsight, this Hornsey stuff I probably would have left alone uh, for the simple reason is there's not great margin in it. There is margin in it nonetheless, but unless there's significant margin, I'll tend to leave breakables alone because... Well, of that reason, it's breakables, uh, higher risk of breakage in the post, returns, blah, 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 takes away all your margin, ends up costing you money. But the thing that tipped the balance on these was I bought them off subscribers that I've previously met, really lovely couple. So I thought, spend some money with them and what the hey. So if everything goes to plan and nothing breaks in the post, this is the breakdown. Two flower jars, uh, they'll, they'll be listed for £15 each. A coffee jar, I'm assuming these are both coffee jars actually, but only one of them says coffee on it. Coffee jar I'll be getting listed for £10. Not quite sure to list that one as yet, but around about the same price, say £8 for argument's sake. Now these I'm reliably informed are sugar and salt sellers, but they're missing the lids. I could find replacement lids for them, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, as I normally am, there's a good chance these will probably end up in the bin because I'm, I'm just not going to get around to replacing the lids. And without the lids, there is absolutely no value to them whatsoever. So I think what I'll do is, I, I did originally plan on putting a list value on these but on reflection and shooting from the hip I don't think I will because of that reason I might just bundle them with say I know the coffee pot or something like that anyway I won't put a listing value on those final final answer <laughs> next up a sugar bowl with its lid Sugar bowl will be getting listed for £8. And finally, with the Hornsey, recent precedent for this, actually, I've, I've very recently sold a coffee jar and that will be getting listed for £18. In fact, I seem to remember that I took an offer on the last one and it start, I started it at £25 and it sold at £18 after an offer. So perhaps start that a bit earlier, but I'll stick to £18 for the video anyway. A pair of binoculars that was actually thrown in 
by the seller as part of a deal on a couple of pairs of trainers so these technically don't stand me anything uh, they, they're not a, a very well-known brand the Sirius 8x21 binoculars made in Korea kind of bread and butter figures really but at this time of year this type of item sells quite well quite regularly there's a fast sell-through rate on them listing value for those binoculars £12 an abundance of shoes and in this little lot here was my one fail of the day so probably the nicest pair of trainers, as far as taste is concerned, are these Adidas Originals Hamburg. Pretty good condition, actually. This style of trainers can fetch really, really good returns. So certainly be watching out for the Originals range. The list of value I'm going to put on those is £45. And next, moving on to the fail. Because I bought a number of trainers, I'm making excuses here. This is not even a mitigation. Because I bought a number of pairs of trainers from the same seller, uh, I just got a bit carried away actually and I thought these were Air 270s and I'm not over massively familiar with trainers but these look just Mickey Mouse to me. They look kind of brand new but it says AIC 270 and that's really the only brand in, in there. There's not even, there's a size label but sort of like a just a, a tiny one. These are a size 9 so I don't think they're anything at all to be honest. It's certainly not Nike so that's my fail. Not going to put a listing value on those whatsoever. Next some Clark's Brogues. These are cushion soft brogues. I've had quite a few pairs of Clarks come in just recently and they're good, strong sellers, consistent as well. They, they generally fly out the doors. Big fan of Clark's shoes for that reason. Listing value on those is £20. These Adidas Pure Boost to tick a lot of boxes, actually. I'm very, very wary still, even with the second-hand trainers that I pick up of copies. But these check out. They're a size 10 and the listing value on those £25. These sketches look absolutely brand new. They might have been worn once, but I can I think I'll get away with listing those as new without box because they are in sparkling condition. These are a running trainer by Sketches, size 7. Listing value on those because of the condition, £30. Some more Dr. Martins. Picked up uh, four pairs on Thursday. These are a kid's size, again, size 11. They look, again, brand new. There is a little bit of a nick in one of the toes, but there's nowhere to the sole. It's the star with a zip on the inside, as is quite common with the kids' ones. Listing value on those, £15. Some really nice Asics men's trainers now. I actually thought these were brand new as well. I could maybe new other, because the only thing that gave it away that they weren't new is the fact that one of the laces looks like it's been chewed. So no idea what's going on there. That is the only defect with these trainers. Aside from that, they're in banking condition. Size 10 and a half and the listing value on those £25. Now, when I first looked at these, I thought they were Converse, but they're not. They're actually Clark's uh, canvas ankle boot. Again, they look new or certainly have had exceptionally little wear. Size 6 on those and the listing value £20. Probably being a bit disingenuous that because Clark's are obviously quite expensive new. So I might revise that price up when it comes to listing. Big fan of this brand because I just am, no particular reason. Under Armour trainers. These are Speed Form, size 11. Listing value on those £25. Some very, very nice sketches sketch air trainers now at size six there is quite a range for comps on these so i'm going to put a listing value of 25 to 30 pound on them a very good staple seller for me sold loads of asics gel in the in the past these are the gel pulse six size eight listing value on those 25 pound some nike tiempo turf boots now and they'll be flying out the door for 18 pound and they are a size eight these really cool Vans boots, they do actually have the laces with them inside. These came from the couple that uh, sold me the Hornsey Pottery, so thank you very much indeed, folks. Cool style, cool graphics inside, plenty of precedent on comps. And perhaps sticking my neck out a little bit on these, but the boots sell very, very well. I'm going to stick a listing value of £30 on these. Obviously, comps do support that, but I tend to find the check print ones, going off my own personal history with Vans, just sell better than other styles and the ankle boots again another selling point these nike air max 95s i had to look past the grime on these obviously i checked the bubbles on them and the bubbles are good they do need some i'm probably even going to stick these through the washing machine these are a size five and a half and the list of value i'm going to put on them assuming that they come out well once they've been cleaned is 30 pound 
the last pair of Altberg boots that I mentioned. These are a size nine in very similar condition to the first ones that I pointed out. And so I'm gonna put the same value, uh, listing value on those of 50 pound. These, Alex these Alexander McQueen have got quite a bit of wear to them. And obviously that will be pictured very closely. Now the Alexander McQueen, obviously you do get copies, but they do, these do check out as genuine. Uh, they come with a cloth bag as well, spare laces. The wear is obviously going to de devalue them, but some of the Ale Alexander McQueen's this style, the glittery one, can go for 160 to 180 pound. I'm not expecting anywhere near that because of the condition, but even with the condition, I thought they were worthwhile picking up. And I'm gonna put a very tenuous listing value on these of 50 pound. And of course, I'll put my best effort into cleaning them up for the pictures. And lastly, today, again from a subscriber, I only paid two pound for this jog. And again, I was probably uh, buying off them because they're very kind enough to subscribe to their channel. And it's the love is circular. <laughs> This actually really nice milk jug. This is a Rockingham Pottery, Staffordshire, England a milk jug. There's no chips on it. There's a bit of wear, but it's a, it's a vintage item. I just think it looks lovely. I think that'll take really nice pictures as well. So look, I only paid £2 for it. I'm not expecting a massive return, but I, I think somewhere in the region of £10 to £15 will uh, be hitting the mark for a listing value. Now for me, this month has just been fantastic. I've been to a bike rally last weekend. I just went to a party last night. I'm going to another bike rally next weekend. It's just the best mix of work life balance. And I'm loving it. It's the reason that I became a full-time reseller is so I could reclaim my life for me after spending the vast majority of my working life just slogging myself after death. But of course, if you guys have seen anything that I missed as I've been around the boot sales today, and obviously we covered quite a few miles today, so there's probably loads I've missed, hit me up in the comment section below this video. It really is a great resource of learning things for me as well, and that's a good takeaway for me from these videos as well. In fact, I've done it myself watching other people's videos. You're shouting at the screen saying, it's there, there, just get it, get it, it's there. So I need to know that. <laughs> now the support, you guys show for this channel is absolutely mind-boggling it really is humbling and it really really is appreciated if i can trouble you to hit the thumbs up it would help the channel and it would be very much appreciated like i say and if you're not already subscribed of course smash the subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time i post a video up thanks very much for watching guys i've been dave keith you've been amazing see you in the next video